Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create an animated lower thirds like the one you're seeing on the screen in After Effects so let's get started. Alright so here we are in After Effects 2017 but you can follow along if you're using any other version as well so we're going to start by creating a new composition and um, I'm going to make this one only 5 seconds long full HD 25 frames a second uh, you can obviously change it to 30 or it doesn't really matter so I'm going to click on OK and uh, then we're going to start with creating our background for the lower third. So I'm going to right click new and solid and uh, then I'm going to select a nice color. So yeah, let's go with this um, teal color. Click on OK, click on OK. And uh, then with that layer selected, I'm going to click on the pen tool and uh, then I'm just going to draw out a shape that I want to have as my lower third background. So I'm going to go with something really simple, maybe just something like that. And uh, then I'm going to rename this layer. So I click on it, press enter, and I'm going to call it lower third BG for background. Okay, next we're going to create our text. So I'm going to right click new and then text. And uh, then I'm going to type my name. So Ruan Lotter, just like that. You can obviously change the font and all of those things. And I'm going to move it into position. And uh, then I'm going to create another text layer. And this is going to be my title or the company or whatever you want to put below your name. So I'm going to type tunnel vision tv like that and uh, then i'm going to move that into position as well and um, i'm going to change the color of tunnel vision to black and then we're going to make it slightly smaller something like that and you can place it into position all right first we're going to animate the name so i'm going to just put my name above tunnel vision tv so it's a little bit easier that's on top that's below and uh, the background is obviously right at the back Okay, so with my name layer selected, I'm going to press P on the keyboard for position. And then I'm going to go forward a couple of frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 using page down. And uh, then I'm going to put a keyframe on the position. And uh, that's basically where it's going to end. So it's going to start off screen and it's going to animate on screen. So I'm going to put a keyframe there. And then I also want to create a keyframe for the tracking of the text. So I'm going to expand this layer and I'm going to go to text and then I'm going to click on animate. And uh, then I'm going to select tracking. All right, so basically we're just going to animate the tracking amount. So I want it to end on zero. So at that same position, I'm going to set a keyframe on the tracking amount. Make sure it's set to zero. And uh, then I'm going to go right to the first frame and I'm going to take the position and just drag it so that my name is off screen like that. And then I'm going to increase the tracking, just something like that. And then obviously we need to move it out again because um, it actually is showing on screen again. So I'm just going to drag it off the position. All right, so now if we play this back, you'll have that type of animation, just the text kind of flying in towards uh, the end position. All right, so with my name layer selected, I'm going to press U on the keyboard. So it's just displaying those two keyframes that we're actually using. And uh, then I'm going to copy them and um, I'm going to paste them on the Tunnel Vision TV as well, just to apply that same effect to that. And uh, now if we play this back, you'll see that the position obviously changed because we copied the position and the tracking. And uh, we need to move the Tunnel Vision TV down slightly. Very easy to do that. I'm going to select the Tunnel Vision TV layer, press U on the keyboard just to display those two keyframes. And uh, make sure your playhead is over one of these keyframes. And I'm going to select both the position keyframes. Make sure you select both of them. And uh, on the keyboard, I'm just going to press down or you can do shift down just to reposition that. All right, so something like that. And now if we play this back, you'll see that both of them will fly in like that. Okay, lastly, I'm going to animate the background. So on the background layer, I'm going to press P on the keyboard. And then at the end position, I'm going to set a keyframe on position, go to the first frame, and then I'm just going to offset it so it's off screen. Like so. And now if we play it back, you'll see everything will fly in at the same time. All right, so first I'm going to create some easy ease on these keyframes. So I'm going to select all of them and then right click on one of them, go to keyframe assistant and then click on easy ease or you can use the shortcut F9. All right, that will just smooth out the animation a bit. So if I play it back, it's a little bit smoother. And uh, now I want to offset this. So I want my background to come in first and then my name and then the company. So basically I'm going to go from the beginning um, lower third will start first and then I'm going to go one, two, three frames forward and I'm going to move both keyframes on my name. I'm going to just slide that up and then I'm going to go one, two, three frames further and then I'm going to select all the keyframes for Tunnel Vision TV and just drag that up as well. So now if we play this back, you'll have 
just that slight offset so the background and then the name and then tunnel vision tv comes in all right so next we obviously want to leave this on screen for a couple of seconds and then we want to reverse that effect okay so let me just zoom out here and uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the keyframes and just paste them at a later stage on my timeline so i'm going to select the keyframes on the name and i'm going to copy them so command c or you can go to edit and copy and then put your play head where you want to paste it so i'm going to go to about three seconds paste them and then i'm going to do the same with tunnel vision tv so select them copy and paste and then the same with the background so copy and paste so now i've got all the keyframes on this side but obviously they still kind of in that order so it's going to go from off screen to on screen and we want to reverse that so really simple to reverse your keyframes just select all of them and then right click on one of them go to keyframe assistant and then select time reverse keyframes so that will basically just create a reverse of that animation all right and now i want to offset them again so i want to have the tunnel vision tv go off first then the name then the background so i'm going to start with the tunnel vision tv keyframes go three frames forward one two three just using page down and uh, then i'm going to start with my name so i'm just going to move my name keyframes on that position and then one two three forward and then do the same with the background like that so if you play this back now you'll see that it will kind of just reverse that animation okay the last thing that we want to do is we want to enable motion blur on all the layers so i'm just going to enable that here and uh, then i'm going to also enable it on my comp so now if we play this back you'll see that we've got nice motion blur there we go and then it's going to stay on screen and then it's going to reverse the animation another thing that you can do is you can uh, just lower the opacity on your background so if i press t on the keyboard i can set this to around 80 and uh, that will just basically if you put this over your video you'll be able to see through that background and it kind of looks nice if you want to see uh, just something in the background you don't have to do that but it's just a little tip if you want to try that and see how it looks like okay next you need to render out your lower third animation and it's very important to use the right settings because you want to render a video with an alpha channel so that you can just place it on top of your video in something like premiere so really simple as well i'm going to go to composition and then add to render queue and um, i'm on a max so i'm going to go with prores so just click on this lossless here quick time and uh, format options and then you can select prores 4444 and uh, then click on okay and then very important make sure that your channels are set to rgb plus alpha so that will render out an alpha channel as well so you can just place it on top and it will actually work on your video if you're not working on a mac you can also use something like animation that also works well or you can go with something like tiff um, quicktime tiff also works well you can see it's got the rgb alpha anything really where you can select this alpha channel will work like let's say we select something like normal prores hq you will see that the alpha is actually grayed out so just make sure that it's got rgb plus alpha that will work fine and then render that and then you can place it on top of your video in something like premiere or your preference of editing software all right and that's how easy it is to create an animated lower thirds animation in after effects i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did give me a thumbs up and uh, also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to see more visual effects and motion graphics tutorials I upload new tutorials on a weekly basis, so yeah, please click on that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time, cheers, bye.